Yeah. It's interesting. I wonder Not if they're the doing something around, special. Right? Cause, cause Yep's Yepso is meant to be moving across the map, being that Tusker, being that interference style though, player. I feel like he does play IO for them, but I might be he, mistaken. I, I, he's definitely played the IO for them previously, but it's like a you know, real defensive kind of play. Mid one's searching for him. Into the trees. <laughs> Ooh, this we, is bad. He's... Okay. We has cut a long, long way back. Uh, bottom lane, Fada. A little bit of trouble. Tavo, he's got crush off cooldown in one second time. This will bring him the space, but here comes the Absol. He gives the extra health. The bottle is already up, and they turn it around. Fada. So sick. Given the extra life, given the extra damage, and the cool spray stacks was so high on that slaughter. That Yaps were needed to do on this hero to make the game completely change, and that was perfect. Gets there at the exact moment Puppy. he needs to. If they get a double kill, this would be so big. They got the uh, snowball available for Puppy. They're just waiting on Duster. Here comes Tavo. In he goes, and the snowball oh dodge. Puppy was waiting for it. Fada's ready to dive too. So Tavo. It's either that or Visage. Like the mid matchup is pressurable and the safe lane, the, the bottom lane is pressurable, but the other one is not so great. They're going again. Penitence over on Fada. TP supports coming in from Maya. He'll arrive at the right time and again. It's like we're having deja vu. Tavo being sent back, but the 10 back takes way too long. Fada will look to clean up the Wild Wing Ripper while he's at it. And maybe even Duster. Yeah, okay, Duster underneath. You can throw the Panthers down. TP support's coming in. Duster is very, very low. Yapsel needs to keep the run, but the stun's now his team secret. Overcommitted in. Ace will die in the meantime, so you can say goodbye to the PL. The man that wasn't meant to die died behind the tier one tower. Okay. And oh. now Shards catching out Duster. Snowball in, Tavo. He had a lot of one charges thanks to Fada's just like nasal goo and cool spray spam. They'll drop a defensive observer ward down. Looks like he misses ice shards. Not sure how difficult it was, but. Here we go again. Chain stuns onto the bristle back. Tavo getting in front. He doesn't have enough life for this. Even with one charges, he'll go into the trees. Wand and TP. No, he actually holds the one charges, accepts his death, and brings yeah. Io as well as Puppy back again to the bottom lane. There's like no way they can pressure Fada anymore. Like he's gotten so many levels from these little engagements. Uh, Yapsol's so moving die. up. There's a small little Chen army to go. They go in behind the lines after we are. Still is no six as you said. Paralyzing Khan's gonna bounce out, catching up the Tusker. The Maledict is over on mid one, and with Weaver rotating in, they'll protect themselves inside the Snowball, but there's five heroes from Pain Gaming with the Crush Dude. and the Blast. That is a three for nothing trade-off in favor of Pain. They did bring the whole kit and caboodle, but... It's still a three for row. That was a sick rotation, actually. They waited a long time for that. It may have been costly, but in the end, everybody stays alive and they kill. Does TP support come from Team Secret? That is an IO. Forced to come back in four, three, two, one. Tether down. They have mid one. But yeah, so there is no surviving that. There's so many creeps and they're going further. They're after mid one. The ensnare will be there. They amp him up and you've got a dead razor. Don't know if the death ward was really needed Dude. to commit it, but this will now allow, with that medallion pickup over on Visage, and already the amount of damage they have, they can just ring Roshan down. It's up to Team Secret if they want to attempt to contest this. Yapsaw does have relocate in eight seconds time, but that's too long. With the implication on Roshan, so much negative armor, they're still not done yet. Mid one, the well, shots come in. He is so low. Team Secret, they'll want to contest this. We have looking to wrap around with familiar in the back. Tavo, he'll miss the blink crush. Ace doppelganger it aggressively forward. Maldiction is onto both bubble heroes of Team Secret from the shots. Hauling pain in, but Puppy will lose its life. But probably for the greater good. The time lapse. Weaver, what do you want to do? We has on the run. Weaver's not involved in this fight anymore. He can look towards uh, actually he can look towards mid one. Or at least just keep tabs on what's up with Roshan. But where's the opportunity here? It's a one-for-one -one trade-off from the supports. These guys will almost respawn as both teams just playing the patient game. Double familiar stop on the Fada and Ace Tarvo. Blink crush back lines. They want that IO. They really want him dead. Null assumption won't be enough for Weeha to do it. And now it's Pain. It's Duster who's too close to the rest of Team Secret. Attempts a very desperation TP out. That doesn't work. Tarvo ready to blink once more. Yapsaw. The death one will kill him off. Now King RD. He'll die for his sins as Ace focuses the back line once again. We are hiding in the tree lines. He'll need to help out his teammate. Familiar stomps are available. Tavo misses his crush. Mid one with a double kill. HFN. Now he turns attention towards Puppy. He goes for a quick snowball. They hold him in position long enough for the plasma field damage and the quills to connect. Mid one's going for Amanda style. So uh, ensuring he just doesn't pop. Top lane Puppy is in a lot of trouble. HFN goes invis. So Puppy doesn't really connect on anything. And they burn the death. What? Well, they really want a quick kill on Tusker.
and yes. then get the hell out of there before reinforcements from Team C could arrive, and they are coming underneath that dire observer ward. And use those in pushes, they can still take some towers. Yep. And they can push so easy, right? Like you've got chain creeps, you've got familiars, you've even got the dominator creep that's there from Weeha. Relocate, coming to the bottom lane. It's going to be Fada and Yapsaw. Uh, okay, he beat out from Duster. This time he wants to survive. This time he will not survive. Oh, that's that's that poor Chen. But maybe they see... Yeah, they see the relocate target up on top. Yapsaw has Tether available. Ace is trying to give him the distance. The Ghost Scepter as well. Starts his TP out and they can't kill him. Oh, so really close. close. Oh, no, he dies! They the Maledict last tick back at base! And the Spirit Vessel. That was the crucial part. King RD picks that item up just in time, prevents the Fountain healing, and ensures that the Maledict damage stays high. Oh, and that's nice why I got that kill. Puppy finding Weeha. King RD's nearby. He's got the Paralyzing Cask available. Puppy in close. Ace. He finds the back line to Paralyzing Cask. Try and slow this down. King RD dies so quickly, but here goes Tarbo running forward onto the Razor. So much amplification. Weeha also so much tank ability, but he cannot tank through that much of Team Secret. And Weaver wants to help out, still in Viz, has time lapse available, can potentially turn, especially when Tarbo gets that double crush. Ace and Puppy, time lapse is still available, and Puppy, well, is someone gonna kill him? He's so low. Okay, the Weaver attack from up on high ground will do the work. Sending back time, Duster. Oh, okay, this just seems to be part of the course. I feel like we've got Cinder in the game. Uh, once again, like 5,000 gold for an AC or a Shiva's is only five more armor. Whereas if you just spend 1,400 on a play mill, you're getting two thirds of the armor. Then you go into another item that really helps. Fight is running in. The relocate is coming in behind Pain while that attack's going up on top. But it's the fight on bottom. Paralyzing cast making life a little bit more difficult. Yeah, so trying to create space. But that's why we have familiars. They're migrating and focusing down on him. We have extend back to the duster. He needs just enough life to survive. So Duster can sacrifice himself. His TP will never be successful. Duster the hero, man. <laughs> he, I think he was scared to overcommit and being put in a bad position is what happened. Yeah. Oh, Blink. Amplification. Father out by himself. Yep, so we'll tether over, giving him the extra help. Maldix is there, Puppy. Rolling boulder forward, looking for a, a reliever. Able to get it. The plus of field damage is good, but the stuns, they're still nice from the familiars. But do not create enough space. Weeha trying to get back up the hill, but the shards from Puppy, absolutely perfect. Weeha so low. This one he won't survive from. Down for a minute, and Ace unable to go in deep after Duster. No manner onto this poor Chen. He'd only died nine times. We're about to make it a tenth with the with the lands forward. Weaver under the towers. He doesn't have enough to survive either. Pain Gaming getting destroyed at their own tier four towers before a tier three has been claimed. Four down. Only I are the casualty of Team Secret. And it looks like they're going to be able to do it. Midrax is going to fall still about 30 seconds until the two important heroes on Pain come back. But the secret is at the snowball point here. All of their cores are survivable. Fada has so many big items. Top Even Ace is hard to kill. At least Tafo has that, that uh, Shadow Blade. I mean, it, it's going to help him get out after he initiates, but not really. Actually, They've got a gem. Yeah, yeah. It Fata's, doesn't do anything. Fada's got the gem, and he just took the plus 20 health regen. Top. They can't get through him at the moment. Without Massage Shop, without Weaver up, they don't have the damage. They're going to let two lanes of Rax fall. They let Fada get a little out of control here. Why does it feel like Tarbo's playing the bait game? Uh, <laughs> that's all he can do right now. Like, kill our Rax a little slower, please. We need to buy 15 seconds. I guess they can't kill any more. They're two still up on them. But yep. I mean, if, if you go the smite at full armor. They're coming in for the fight. They jump forward. Oh, boy. Rich Doctor's dead so quickly. Four seconds till Weaver's back up, but they snowball over the top of Shed, and they found the opportunity. Duster falls. He did his best, man. He's like, go home, I'll send you back. And then he tried to block the snowball. He wasn't strong enough. Didn't work out. Ah, oh, Blink, Crush, they're going after the back lines. They wanted the apps of a Tafu. He can't survive that. He goes in so deep, so fast. And now, well, maybe they can catch Yaps or no, they can't. Poppy protect him with the snowball. They're rolling out towards the Weaver. So the fight is even split into mobile pass. Visage trying to be sent back. Won't happen in time. This should be the game. Pain Gaming have just lost so much. Tier 4 towers. The nail is going into the coffin. Weaver has actually left the entire battle. He has gone to farm up in the jungle. GG. Well played. Team Secret will bring down Pain. It looks like they had a fun time there. Some, some like smirks on every one of their faces, but it's got to feel good when you play against a strat like that. That is minus armor that has so much synergy that it changes early outcomes. Everyone just takes way more damage than you expect, and mm -hmm. they had to really stabilize there. They had those really great first two kills that started them off on the right foot. Things got a little out of hand, but after that point, they really utilized well. IO split pushing.